this is Lego Python here, and today I'm going to be reviewing for you set number 70900, the Joker Balloon Escape. Now, this is a very small set, and yeah, this is the other uh, one out of the three or four that um, the of the small sets. And I think you can, um, as shown in the end of the instructions of this, um, that you can connect it with the other two small sets. Um... And that's really cool that you can actually create a whole scene of that and that's that's really cool you can rebuild it and all that stuff you can make a bigger play scene so that's really cool um it's the build is not actually that complicated um it what makes it not complicated is because it's just it's very simple and that's where it also falls because you know the bomb and everything, it's really nice because uh, they show it like just like it is in the movie and it's exactly built like in the movie. Even the computer is also like, I the computer might not even appear in the movie as I've seen. It doesn't, I don't think it does, but it is still a cool kind of thing. But instead of putting an actual grill piece over here, they could have actually put a keyboard piece, um, which would have been a way nicer, and it would have looked a lot better, actually. Uh, but instead, they just chose to go a little more simpler, which is kind of a bad thing. But it's totally fine, because the computer piece itself, um, it's also a sticker, actually. Uh, but still, it does give it more detail, so that's really cool. Um... Yeah, there's like the printed 2x2 uh, two two round tile um, as the clock printed on it. And then a gold piece in grey this time. Um, and that's really cool. It can move around a little bit. You can take it off, but it, you know, it'll take off with the rail itself. So, you know, you wouldn't want to keep uh, taking those off. But uh, the only actual play feature on this thing is that, you know... Um, it shows that this tube is actually connecting and it's supposed to like show that it's connected to this thing but it doesn't it sometimes it just looks it doesn't connect properly so it just looks weird uh, so you kind of have to push it a little bit once in a while just to make it look like there it's one piece uh, and then this is one sticker over here um, in the front so you kind of have to place that or um, like in a weird way or else you kind of can't it won't look good for the rest of the the time you actually try to display it uh, and yeah this thing does not want to actually um, stay together because it's literally only standing on two jumper plates um, and that's really disappointing but like if you do this it kind of explodes so that's really cool but just to have um, if they had like transparent yellow tubes like just like these ones inside of it to actually show an explosion that would have been way better and it would have Giving it more of a play value rather than just, you know, nothing happening, basically. Um, and then, as soon as we now we go to the minifigures, well, let's go first to the second part of the build here. So, on the back, you know, you wouldn't want to also take off, um, take him off and separate him from the whole thing. Because it's really hectic to actually put his hands back onto these uh, holder things on the side. And those are actually paint roller pieces, so yeah, it's really hard to clip on uh, his hands once you put it on. But when you do put it on, um, over here, yeah, it's already on like that, so that's really cool. You get these uh, pieces over here, five balloons as it is. Um, five of these pieces are actually one balloon piece itself is separated into one dome piece right here, two by two dome piece, and then an upside down dome, so that's really cool. Uh, and then just put it on top over here, and then these are the five balloons. Um, you can take it separately and then just display maybe like four balloons or three balloons, something like that. But if you want to keep all of them, you could. Or even if you want to make a mock about um, a kid holding a balloon, you can also do that. You can replace it with just a, a normal shorter white stick, so that would be really cool. Uh, and then on the sides over here, um, they're just the laser blasters, the space blasters, as you call them. Um, and then those are supposed to simulate the kind of boosters on the side. And those do actually aid in actually holding it up if you align it right. But sometimes if you don't, it falls over. Um, and then you could, you know, just put it, replace it. Or you can just like replace it with a different flame or something, anything you want. Uh, but yeah, the flames do give it like show that it's actually flying. So that's really cool. 
Um, and then, as far as the Joker minifigure goes, I don't think it's exclusive. Um, actually, I think it is because this one is a smiley face. And then if you see on the other side, he's kind of like s grinning almost actually. And he's closing his eyes like that. It's this one's also, yeah, these are good face prints. Um, very unique actually. Um, but I think in the scene itself, it's not really a spoiler, but in the trailer, you can see he's kind of sad when like Batman kind of um, says you're not my friend or you're not my enemy um so i don't know why it's a smiling face uh at least one should be smiling and the other one should be sad uh, but they decide to go for both of them to be smiling so that's kind of weird um but then over here you see uh, this is a little um dome kind of tile thing this whole section is supposed to also boost it up to actually make it stand properly um yeah, there are a lot of things that you can make to, like, there's a lot of things that are on here that can make it stand. Uh, and that's really cool. And if you can see, also the tail coat is a new kind of piece, but it's not the soft cloth, uh, so they just stick with the old version. Um, and as far as the Batman figure goes, a minifigure goes, um, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same from all the other batman that we got from the other sets there's nothing really different about it but except uh actually uh this one is just a plain kind of one without him squinting or any other face expression if it can focus uh that's totally fine okay and then over here is just uh kind of an angry face so that's really cool and this is the grappling gun which is also very cool that they included but it looks kind of awkward um, on the end of it um, it just looks kind of different because the clip is there instead of actually putting just the hook over there um, and they do include a second of these string pieces which is very nice um, again they do include an extra belt like they always do with every um, Lego Batman movie set uh, and yeah this is the second string that you get um, in case you lose one and some I think a light green and a light blue uh, round tile also which is included so that's nice um, and then two studs also one is a shiny gray one and then a black one um, and then also again there's a lot the, adding to the function this also turns a little bit but yeah it doesn't this is not really a good set to get if you want to um look for the build you kind of want to uh if you want the set you would want to get it for uh joker and all the details they put on his glider thing for all the balloons and everything so that's really cool um but yeah other than that the build isn't very interesting at all actually but yeah the batman main figure comes with the grappling hook um which is very nice and then the printing also his face also kind of like he's kind of angry and you would want to get it for all these other interesting um parts of the set but definitely don't try to get it just for this build if you think it's unique but also if you notice there's a clip over here so this is also to show that you can attach it to the other sets connect it kind of um i'm not sure how it works if you're supposed to rebuild or just like connect it simply but i might try it later um, but you know, the set is very interesting in total, actually. But yeah, it does fall apart. But other than that, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe.